Hey everybody, in this video we are going to take a Tascam model, either a 12, 16, or 24, and multi-track it into GarageBand in Mac OS in this particular case, okay? So this is for either the 12, 16, or 24. If you do have a 12, you do get the added bonus of having it for a control surface, so you can actually do some fader riding. Try that in your DAW. All right, so first things first, make sure you have the most up-to-date Tascam firmware. Just go to the site, make sure you've got it. You'll figure out how to put it in there and the software, which is the drivers. And make sure that you've got a card that they approve. They have a list there of approved cards. So if you use some junky card, you may have problems. And speaking of which, how about the quality? Is this going to sound good? Well, all I can tell you is that the specs on the uh, mic preamps are really good. These are decent mic preamps, and the specs on the machine are what they are. You can look at it and decide whether you think the audio performance is going to suit your project. But there have been some mighty fine projects made um, in GarageBand and with these machines. So we're going to use 16-bit 48K because... Uh, That'll match the Tascam to the GarageBand application. And so to get into that daily, we go Shift-Command-U on your keyboard. And you're going to go into your utilities on your Mac. And you're going to go in Audio MIDI Setup. And then choose the microphone option. And you're going to use this USB codec, which is your Tascam. And then you're going to go into the format. And you're going to say, down at the bottom, 48K two channel 16 bit you have to do this and then match it on the task cam so you have to make a project uh doesn't have you don't have to record on task cam but you got to make a project so create a new song and make sure you match so go to 1648 otherwise you're going to get an error it's going to say fs error so and if you've gotten that you know why now now you got to go in system and go to your usb audio input and the output and that's going to it says input and use choose multi okay it'll be t it'll be defaulted to stereo choose multi all right and then hop out of there now just um start start the process of getting your stuff wired up and you know get your gains and stuff going on your board and just get your setup ready then of course you have to go on usb out to your mac so now we go back in to that file where the utilities are and that midi setup and we have to choose how we want to listen so in my case, I want to listen through my other board, which is my Allen Heath Z10. And there it is there. There's the code. And then use this device for sound output. So now I'll hear out of that with my headphones through the Mac. Okay. So now we're going to set up a project in GarageBand. And we're going to use the microphones. And there's one. So I'm going to click here a couple times, double click. And I got three because I just hooked up three mics so we can just hear it. And you can see that it does it. And um, if you go down here, you see it's already, it already sees the model 24, and there's all the channels right there. So I can assign those to each of these, and I'll assign number one, track one to track one. Let's go track to track. And um, track two, we'll go track two. And on track three, obviously, let's see, which one will we use? You can use any one you want, but I'm going to use track three because that's where the microphone's plugged in. All right. Now, you can't arm a wall until you do this. Click on any one of these, right-click. And go down and go into the setting where you can add your record arm button. It's not normally listed because normally you only do one track at a time in GarageBand. But see, now it's got your record arm buttons. And get out of here, just click anywhere. And now you can arm them all. So I'll arm, arm one and uh, see it's blinking. And then I'll arm two and it is armed. And I'll arm three. So now these are all armed. And I've got my microphones hooked up here. I'm just tapping on them. You can't hear them because they're in a different sound card. I'm doing this separate audio. But it's obviously registering in my meters as I just kind of tap on all three of them. i got them laid out on the desk. And uh, hit record. <laughs> and that's it. So what prints? The gain, the low cut, and the compression from the task cam. And that's what you'll get. You don't get any of the um, EQ or anything or panning or any of that. They're just going to be straight up channels right into your DAW. I mean, that's the reason you're putting it in there to use the stuff that's on the DAW. And you got everything on GarageBand, really. I mean, you can, you know, do multi-band EQing and compression and all that stuff, everything. So anyways, I hope this was enlightening. That is it for this one. If you got any questions, stick them in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.